In example 10, we're multiplying a plus b times a minus b. So again, we do a FOIL. The first terms give us an a squared. The outer terms, a and minus b, when multi multiplied together, give us a minus ab. And then the inner terms, b and a, give us a plus ba, or I'll write that as a plus ab. And then the last terms, b and minus b, give us a minus b squared. And you can see that the minus ab and the plus ab cancel each other out, and we're left with a squared minus b squared. And this you might remember from algebra and factoring. This is what we call the difference of two squares. a squared minus b squared always factors as a plus b times a minus b. Example 11 is very similar to that. This is an example of this particular case, difference of two squares. Watch what happens when we do a FOIL on x plus 3 times x minus 3. The first terms are both x, so x times x is x squared. The outer terms, x and minus 3, give us a minus 3x. And the inner terms, a 3 and an x, give us a plus 3x. And you can see that those are going to cancel out just like they did in the previous example. And we do the last term. Now 3 and negative 3 multiplied together give us a minus 9. And these guys cancel each other out and we're left with x squared minus 9. And you can see the difference of two squares here. This is obviously x squared and this is 3 squared and it's the difference of two squares. They're subtracted. So x squared minus 3 squared is the same as x plus 3, x minus 3. Or when we multiply those two together, we get that as an answer. In example 12, we multiply 2x plus 5y times 3x plus 4y. So these are a little more complicated. There's two variables, and in every case there's a coefficient. But the same idea applies. We can do a FOIL here because these are both binomials. So let's do it. The first terms are 2x and 3x. We multiply those together and we get 6x squared. Then we do the outer two terms, 2x and 4y. When we multiply those, we get 8xy. So we put that down as our next term. The inner terms are 5y and 3x. When we, when we multiply those, we get 15yx, but I'll write that as 15xy, just to highlight that these are like terms, because they're both xy terms. And we still need to do the last. 5y and 4y, when those multiply together, we get a 20y squared. Now let's combine the two like terms. We'll keep our 6x squared. 8xy plus 15xy gives me a total of 23xy. And then we still have the 20y squared. And that's our answer.